First, he flashed a badge and then demanded money, but the man in this video is no police officer. He thought by posing as an officer, he could scare a gas station clerk into giving him a few hundred dollars. But little did he know everything was being recorded on high-definition cameras. Sean Lay is live on Detroit's west side where this happened. And Sean, another example of Detroit's green light cameras helping out police here. And we can show everyone in crystal clear HD quality. Look, just talk to this clerk. He says this guy walked into the Valero here on Telegraph, flashing that badge, ranting and raving about tickets, demanding cash, saying he was calling for backup. But look on top of the sign there. Way on top, you see a flashing green light. This guy had no idea he was being watched by Detroit police the entire time. He's posing as a police officer. It's 11 o'clock the night of October 21st. Security cameras capturing this man walking into the Valero gas station on Telegraph at McNichols. And watch closely. Did you see that? Watch again. He opens his jacket to expose a police badge. What you're watching is a scam. The man says he's a police officer and then badgers the clerk, saying the clerk owes $250 in unpaid tickets. He began to raise his voice. Uh, clerk became frightened at that point and gave him the $250. What this guy posing as a police officer doesn't know and never realized, he walked right into a Detroit green light gas station equipped with HD cameras feeding images back to police. When the clerk calls 911, the video is checked. The man's car, the plate are checked, and police are soon at the door of 35-year-old Al Jamar Sibby. Police say he's the man in the video, and now Sibby has been hit hard with four felony charges. Green light cameras are working. Cameras so good, they provide police with these clear images during the day or in the dark of night. Well, in this case, 11 o'clock at night, clarity. Suspects arrested within two hours. Within two hours, according to the chief. Now, Sibby already bound over for trial on felony charges of extortion, larceny, fraud, and impersonating a police officer. Kimberly and Devin, we first talked about green light cameras. There were eight, four on each side of the city. There were more than 50 now businesses participating. Houston police now studying this project. Police in San Diego, according to Chief Craig, also studying the project as well. We're live on the west side. Sean Lay, Local 4. All right, and just announced some more initiatives for more businesses to uh, join Project Greenlight as well, Sean. We appreciate it very much.